Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Creeper World 4. That is right, we are back heading in the colony section yet again for an L Pass map. Light play as Sleeper. Uh, I, this is apparently not the first one, but uh, very, very cool. Just saw it today and I want to check it out. Uh, let's give it a go. Uh, another light play sleeper map. Uh, the CPAC gets a manager update and it's uh, properly called Pass now. Uh, if approved by Corporal and acceptable to the genre. So, uh, yeah, there's a whole lot of things. There's no mutators yet. Uh, and, yeah, it's all about the sleeper map. We get to control sleeper units. It's essentially Canaan's but creeper side. Uh, whoa. Uh, the world is a rift storm accompanying you for this mission. This would also serve as a testing if creeper sided game modes are compatible. Although Corporal is planning on. Uh, planning to make a fix for the CPAC to be playable by the player. Testing is sure needed, and this is good for testing. Uh, so there's a rift storm. Let's keep it a brief. Uh, when it comes, it will spawn things for us, being glorbs, eggs, skimmers, and air sacs. And you can see what they are going to be. Um, the hexagonal sphere, they are destroyable by the creep for the sake of the storm, and they keep the storm at bay. So the more hexagonal sphere things we take out, the more storm we get, so we gain more power as it goes on. And then here's a, like all of the things about all of the thing units. We only have three, I believe, uh, which are the missiles, mortars, and canans. And then others will get built uh, that we do not control, which are the shields, the berthas, the factories, and the towers. So there we go. There's a whole lot of other information. Feel free to get going with this. Uh, and then, yeah, there's just so much stuff. Um, let's just give it a go and see what happens. So it's not so much more. It's more CPAC testing. This is our lab up here. We can act oh, we can actually move the lab around. I didn't even realize we could move the lab around. That's probably pretty good. Uh, I just sort of went into this just to see what this was all about. And it's kind of neat. It's kind of neat. As you can see, there's a whole base that we have to deal with and all sorts of things. Uh, lots of enemies. But we are the Creep. And what do we have? We have the Creeper Cannons. Now, these take 200 energy. I don't think that's actually 200 Creeper because we only have... I mean... We have 3k, I mean, I guess it could be. Uh, it does absorb creeper to make, but it seems... Actually, I guess this thing is pumping out quite a lot more creeper than I was expecting. Okay, so maybe it is about 200 creeper per, per cannon. Uh, and we are limited in the number of cannons we can have, right? And as you can see, there was a little, like, worm that flew out, and that's building a, uh, a tower over there. So, worms build towers, good to know. We're going to grab some creeper cannons, and we're not actually going to use these initially for destruction. Uh, well, I say initially for destruction, I mean destruction of what's around us. I guess we should a little bit uh, just to get some on the go. But we have we have other uses for them uh, at the moment, at the moment. Sort of planning ahead, planning ahead. As you can see, things are being built right now, such as planes and uh, things that we don't want. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna try and head off the planes first. So I'm gonna send all my commands over here. Try and get this plane Said, you know, just just get them gone. Get rid of the planes. I don't want planes in my world. So if we can have these sort of destroy these planes, uh, I think that's going to be a pretty big help because they're going to be around this area. They're going to be around. I don't know where this one goes. This one uh, over here. Yeah, that area. So if we can get rid of planes, that's pretty solid. That's pretty solid. So that's what I want my canans to do. I am going to turn up the speed because you know we only have 20 units. We can't build any more for now. For now, we will get more. And look, there's a factory being built. A corrupted factory. Uh, so now we're going to have a corrupted factory. As you can see, the towers are still being built. And the creep is still just expanding. And I guess we can just move our base up, right? Yeah, let's just move our base up. That is essentially our, our floating emitter. And that's the hexagonal spheres that prevent the... Uh, the storm from hitting. So if a storm were to hit, I don't know if they're on intervals or how that works or anything like that. But realistically, boom, there we go. We did destroy the first runway, which is it all I really cared about. Don't really care about anything else. I don't believe it can build more. We actually killed a couple of the, the planes, but without the runway, who even cares? We got rid of a runway, so those planes will be doing nothing. Those planes are essentially dead. And I would love to fly all the way over. I don't think we're going to be able to make it all the way down. Honestly, if we just fly all the way down, maybe we could... Yeah, maybe we can just go for the final runway and we'll come back for this one, right? Uh, oh, we did get more tears! Corrupted more tears. They shoot arcing creeper shells towards the back of the front line. As you might have been able to see, when we had a Kanan, it was very, very limited range. And it was only shooting certain areas. 
I say certain areas. I mean, it was only shooting uh, what's closest to it, where this is a backline unit. So you, you gotta love that. Let's get some of those. That sounds pretty good to me. And if all of our commands go down, that's okay. I don't mind if the commands go down. I just hope that some of these are in a position where they can actually shoot the uh, the planes. That's what I want. If we can get rid of these planes, that's going to be gorgeous. That's going to be beautiful. That's going to be lovely. Because, uh, again, the planes are what's spooky right now. Uh, I mean, well, not right now, but they will be, right? Planes are always very spooky. It's kind of a thing in Creeper World. Oh, no, we lost all of them. We lost our Canans. Okay, the Canans didn't they didn't make it. Uh, but that's okay, because they only take 200 Creep, and we can just place them down again. Bazinga, they're absorbing the Creep, as you can see. And they're already built again. Boom. We just we just redid the Canans. Just like that. The only, only complaint about Sweeper is that you can't highlight and select, right? And you can't form squads. So if I want to select, say, this group of mortars, I have to individually click every single one. Uh, it's either individually click or collect, or collect all. Not collect all, click all, right? So I don't want to click all, obviously. I, I want, I mean, well, I generally don't. You kind of want to spread things out, and that's A-OK. -okay. Uh, we will we will try and get these planes down. I think this, pl this group will have a little bit better because they are right on the edge. Unfortunately, I think the AC is going to get too strong over here. I'm going to try one more assault, maybe highlight just that area, but I don't think the uh, I don't think we're going to be able to make it there. But I think we we can probably destroy these. Um, but if you notice, this whole set right here, from here to here, there's no planes because we destroyed the runway. Uh, it sucks to be them. Sucks to be them. And that's the key, right? Uh, let's just move our mortars. I guess we should move. I don't want to move them all. I don't want to move them all. Uh, and what side do we go for first, right? I guess, I guess we're going, we're just going for this side. It's just, it's just more forward and we'll keep moving our base. Uh, as you can see, these little guys are coming out, building the pathways, building the things, which is great. I really want to connect up to the blueite, to the factory. Uh, as you can see, the factory is now collecting cubes, orbs, orbulons. Uh, so that's good, uh, I believe. I don't really know what they do, but I want them to do it. I want them to do it. Let's see what happens with these over here. I think these will have a pretty good time. And once they do their thing, I think that's going to take out these, which once they run out of ammo, uh, will be in a good place. Although we're probably going to destroy a few planes, I would hope. I hope we're going to destroy a few planes at least, like on this side, right? Uh, hopefully, yeah, we got rid of the runway too. Look at that. We destroyed a lot of planes. Holy moly. That was actually a pretty good assault force right there. Not too bad. Are, are they perfect? Are they going to win? Probably not, but they did they did they did a good job, right? Uh let's just, just uh, these are never gonna do it. This is this is a very poor idea. Uh, is there like a good way to organize these? Because I want them honestly just to attack like the planes. The planes! Can I move you out? Can I move this in a better position? Right? No, no, it's just those two spots. Right? I would love this there. Unfortunately, yeah, these are all going to die. But they're going to die in an attempt at supreme victory. Uh, we're not going to get these planes. They're going to shoot whatever's closest. So they're going to shoot like this mortar and things like that. These two might shoot the planes. Though. That's Oh, they're shooting. Where are they shooting? I don't even know where they're shooting now. Uh, but they're dead. They're all dead. That's okay. That's okay. Um, we got rid of two sets of planes, though. That's humongous, right? That's huge, huge, huge. We're already moving out, and we're just expanding, right? We're moving our Rift Lab, uh, which is essentially our super emitter. We're following up with some more tears. I would actually like some more tears on this side to be prepared for this, to get behind this. And honestly, now that these planes uh, are firing on this over here, they're going to run out of ammo, try and go back, and just be boned, right? They're going to be boned. Uh, bonage is due, uh, and that feels pretty good to me. Uh, so let's keep it going. Keep the Canans building. Uh, just trying to build them in the deeper of the Creeper because, you know, they build faster. They don't really upset the front lines this way. Uh, that's really all I want. The question now is where do we start sending our units? Do we just keep moving? I guess we just keep moving, right? Maybe we'll just truck them forward. Uh, keep the units moving. And again, one big key is the fact that we are moving our base, which is, again, the... A mid -air. 
Uh, and you can see, look, it's built all this infrastructure, which is neat. Uh, it produces a moderate amount. Oh, even these produce creeper. I didn't realize these actually produced creeper. And we got corrupted missile launches. So now we can actually shoot the planes, which is good. Uh, we didn't need to, uh, but let's let's actually kill these off, right? They, they haven't run out of energy yet. We'll just get rid of them, right? Look at, look at the missile launchers. They they really get going. And when they when a target they're shooting at dies, I really like this. The missiles fall to the ground and create that creep. Like, look at that. We're, like, bombarding the entire area, which is super, super cool, right? I mean, we just did a missile bombardment just to kill those. Pretty neat, if you ask me. Uh, fingers crossed a tiny bit of creep kills that off because this is breeding... Pr oh, no, it's not. Oh, wait. Did it? No. Mm -hmm. No, it's not. It's not. Um, that's okay. We, we need some mortars to get over there. Unfortunately, my mortars are kind of moving as a group. It's not exactly the best thing to do. Uh, but again, it's kind of what I've just been doing because it's so much easier to select all than to select a few, right? Uh, let's take out the shield. Thankfully, just getting all these canans in there, that will definitely take out the shield. We'll also clear out this relic, which is creating the uh, hexagonal grid, which is preventing uh, our fun. Our fun! It's preventing fun, and no one wants fun to be prevented. We'll move up our mortars. We'll move up our emitter. And, yeah, just the more we take, the easier it gets, right? It's a standard creeper affair. Uh, I don't know what... Oh, I am losing my boys. <laughs> Whoops, a daisy. I lost quite a few, but we did take out the shield. The shield taking out the shield was the main goal. Same thing for this right now. I want to take out the shield just so we can move in. Uh, as you can see, the mortars are great at shooting the back line, which is the key for the mortars. You got to love that. So, realistically, I would like maybe three or four like frontline cannons, three or four backline mortars and just to have like sort of lines of them. Um, but that's a lot of clicking that I'm too lazy to do right now. So that's why I'm just doing this whole, everybody moves. <laughs> uh, but it's working. It's working out. It's working out. We're getting there. We're getting there. Uh, maybe this isn't really producing as much as I thought. Maybe it only, maybe we had a separate producer over here. Um, mesh is, wait, mesh is growing. A mesh, wait, how's mesh growing? I don't understand. Oh, and we got, it is storm time. Look at this! See? We get five orbs from this, and we can see that bazinga. We're gonna get orbs, 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 eggs, 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 and some skimmers, some air sacs, you know? It's very, it's just a random event. Now the orbs and the eggs just kind of fall. Not exactly that useful. It'd be kind of cool if they launched, but we got the skimmers, we got the air sacs, they're all coming out, and those are lovely. Those are lovely things. Uh, so yeah, we're just, uh, we're, 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 we're taking them out. We're taking them out pretty, pretty good. Uh, we should get some more units that we can't control as... Ooh, look, we got the shields. So the shields, what I, I think I was reading about them, they're like creeper... They're like... Uh, they pull the creeper, I guess, is the best way to put, uh, say it, instead of push it. So it's like it, they push AC away and pull creeper in. So it's definitely an anti-shield, right? Where your shield just pushes everything away. This will... Ooh, it's getting a little laggy. There's a lot going on. Ooh, baby. Uh, let's... Okay, there we go. Something was happening that was causing quite a bit of the lag there. And that's A-OK -okay to me. Uh, you know, it's still in testing phase. It's still in the whole learning. But yeah, when a shield lands, it pulls the creep to it. Uh, and pushes the AC away. So it's sort of... It's almost an inverse because the the regular shield doesn't pull in ac right it just pushes so it's, it's definitely a very neat feature very neat functionality i'm definitely a fan of course uh, it's very very cool and what oh my gosh i just lost my entire gunner army that's okay because you know what let's, let's do some gunner assaults on the other side right we'll, we'll do a little bit over here we'll toss a couple of things over here and we'll just shift to this side i think this side needs some some help pushing you know um, it looks like everything is still connected up pretty nicely. The, As you can see, the shields are moving up. They do have a lot of health, I believe, so they can take some hits, from what I was reading. Uh, I say that, and one immediately just died. So, hey, uh, I'm the best. I'm the best at stuff. Uh, I don't know. Uh, but let's let's get this going. And this is oh, another reason we want the mortars. Uh, so let's move our mortars to the, like, the middle ground. And what I want to do is spread these out over here, because they'll be able to take out the far-reaching things. Uh, these mortars do have a greater range than uh, the mortars of normal. 
Uh, I say, or the mortars of old, however you want to put it. Uh, these have a much greater range, which means they can shoot. Um, they're, I, I think they're at like an earned mortars range. They can shoot pretty far. So that's also very cool. This whole side is just falling naturally. And there was a big old explosion right there. I don't know what caused that. That's definitely causing some lag rate for me. <laughs> and it doesn't look like it actually destroyed any creeper or any units. So I don't know what that explosion was. But it was neat. So that's a thing. Uh, don't know what it was. And yeah, you can see these are now pelting over here. Destroyed those. Let's watch these mortars at work. As you can see, boom, easy days. They're going down. This one's going to go down next. We're just having a blast, having a ball. And yeah, just makes life a lot easier with those being destroyed. And that's the problem. The problem is I want my mortars kind of spread everywhere. But because I don't want to move them all individually, uh, whew, it is it is a little bit rough on that front. Uh, but that's okay. That's okay. That's okay. Um, where, where am I my canans? Oh, all my canans are dead. <laughs> Whoops, a daisy. Uh, let's just rebuild them here. Let's just start building them on this side. All my canans are dead, which is actually okay, because with them all being dead, it just makes them a lot easier to know. They're going to be over here. We'll just move them to the side, hopefully, because these shields are here. There's no AC. I think AC damages the units more than anything else, so that might be of some help. Uh, Rocket launchers are still back here. As you can see, the mesh is coming along. I'm not sure if... I'm assuming mesh will be filled in via the... Can I pop these? I can't even pop the eggs. So that's a problem. We can't even pop the eggs. So the eggs back here that come from the storm are useless. They don't even pop. Uh, I guess they could get p picked up by blobs is the only thing that I could see them doing. Um, but other than that, they are essentially useless. Um, see over here, see all these, they just sort of landed. They're building up creep because there really wasn't too much to shoot them. And that's a, that's pretty nice too, you know? Let them, let them shoot, let them take a corner, kill some... Ah, yeah, kill an M-Rift. That's gorgeous, that's gorgeous if you ask me. Uh, I want a couple of these mortars over here too. So we can start shooting these things. Again, nah, you, you, really, you really do need a good spread to take out these, uh, these platforms and the light... Uh, but the, yeah, the shields are pulling the creep in. We, we've essentially taken this, which is great. Most of my uh, canans are dead yet again. Uh, but that's okay, you know. I, I feel a lot better about sending these units to their death than I do the uh, the other units. Because they're, like, the other units are mechanical. Uh, these are clearly creeper-based, which is technically evil. So I don't mind being uh, evil as much, I suppose, is the, is the way to put it. Um, I feel it's right to be evil, I guess. I don't know the best way to put it. But yeah, let's get these mortars over here. They can start shooting some things. Uh, I want this to shoot the shield, ideally. Because uh, if we destroy the shield, then we're in a really good spot. Right? The problem is the shield is here. Oh no, the problem is there's a, there's a totem there. Boo totem! Totems are always boo. Uh, but we weren't able to actually cut out the power for this area, which is great. So now these are going to die. These mortars will shoot some of the other annoying things, of course. Uh, and we should be in a much better position, right? Mortars, please shoot like here and here. Oop, something happened. I don't even know what just happened. Uh, did we get any other cool units? I mean, we have the stashes. We have uh, anything else? Ooh, what are you? A corrupted... We have corrupted Berthas now. Oh, see, we can't control these. We can't actually tell them where to shoot. But we do have them, and they will shoot. So, neat. Very cool. I don't know. I'm a fan. You know, more, more goodness for us. Uh, more things on our side firing sounds pretty good to me. I don't know if those are being made by our collection of resources. It doesn't quite look like we're actually fully utilizing that. And this shield kind of looks busted, so boo to that shield. Um, it's okay. Not the end of... Oh, more stuff is happening. Oh, nice. We did destroy that, which is great. And now we can move... Yeah, let's move some of these mortars, please. You... Over here, please. You. Over here, please. You. Oh, we need the miscals over here. Where did I even put them? There, over here. All right, so the miscals can start shooting from over here. Hopefully take out these planes. That'll be amazing. 
and hopefully these will take yeah these are definitely going to take out these two which is great that will just help uh help very help, help, help a lot right and i just just less things shooting us means more creep for us now the creep is oh whoops it didn't mean top down uh we still have a lot of things that are blocking us but honestly i think we're moving along pretty nicely we're just sort of we're just sort of trying to move on in this side is ooh. We got that breeding for us. I do believe these are like permanent breeders. Like as long as there's creep on them, they will be breeding. So it's not like uh, every 30 seconds. It's just if creep is on this, this is breeding. And I really like that touch for the open uh, space areas because you kind of want it that way, right? You, you really want this to be breeding for you all the time because if it's not, it's very... It's, it's just a little lackluster. It's just a little lackluster. Um, our units are moving in pretty well again. Uh, that's being taken over now. Oh, oh, see, now this is now breeding for us, which is perfect. That's all we really cared about. Uh, oof, where are we? Oof, I, I don't know what those sounds are, but where do we move from here? Right? Oh, another Bertha popped up. Cool. Um, very, very nice. Very, very nice. Oh, do I... Do I move my units over here? Do I come for this side? I guess I guess we'll try and just land them like. Is there? Oh, what is that? What is on the ground there? It's like little landmines or something. Like, look at that. I I didn't even notice that before. So there's little things on the ground preventing us from landing. Interesting. Interesting. I'm assuming when the creep gets to it, it can sort of take them over. But I didn't realize that was like a thing. Right, that was preventing us from landing. Now I know, of course. Makes perfect sense. How are the planes doing? There are still a couple of planes left. I don't know where they're being sent to, but I think we did destroy quite a few planes. I am going to move these out over. Let's see. Let's watch. Where are your planes? I see you landed there. Oh yeah, they are coming over here. So just moving the missiles over here. Take out these planes, no problem. I'm surprised they didn't already take them out, but there we go. Yeah, you can see another plane bites the dust. It's a shame for them. Um, there go the uh, the Berthas destroying units. Oh, it's lovely. It's a lovely time. Ooh, ah, is that what's under them? It's just it's just different terrain heights. Okay, I thought it was actually like something. Oh no! Boom, boom, boom! I want you in my room. So they're explosions. I didn't even notice they had a little text. Um, but it also looks like they also destroy the terrain when they are destroyed as well. So it's a double, it's, it's double duty. It's double duty at that point. Oh, wow. This side has just been taken over. Lovely as well. Uh, do I, I mean, do we even fight? I mean, I guess, I guess I leave it there. Uh, moving on up. Let's just keep it going. I mean, worst case scenario is they die and we just spend a little bit of creep. Oh, look at you. Good job. Oh my gosh. The Berthas just blew up a whole lot of stuff, and I think that was the boom, boom, boom. I'm guessing that's what's making those big booms. Surprise, surprise. Now I know. Uh, and, yeah, kind of kind of took out quite a large area. Definitely a lot of lag, though. <laughs> a lot of lag. Uh, tossing these Mortares over here was a great uh, solution, because they're shooting into the shield, which is helping greatly, of course. Um, they're now also shooting... Oh no, they hit the shield! I thought they were actually making creep under it. They just hit the shield. Interesting, so the shield can block mortar shots. Uh, but it can't block the actual creeper shots. So that is definitely good to know. Uh, can we get our mortars over here? Yeah, let's... Oh my gosh, I lost all my units. Surprise me! All of my units are gone! Good job, good job. I mean, it makes sense. Again, I'm just sort of sending them in to die over and over and over again. Uh, but at, right now, basically, I mean, what are we doing, right? We're just trying to eliminate what we can. Did they build more of these boom, boom, booms? Interesting. I didn't realize they were actually being, like, built. So that is an interesting fact and feat. Uh, this corner finally taken over. Huzzah! Um, looks like everything else is going 
going fairly well. Again, there's still a couple of planes, but they're not being launched, which is interesting as well. Uh, that's just a super group of planes. I mean, if you notice, there was only one runway, but a lot of things were coming off of it. So there was a super unit of planes going on. I'm just tossing these in just to sort of shoot whatever they can and clean up any AC. You know, any damage that they do to AC at this point is good damage, right? I, I don't really care about anything else. Uh, it's just getting that AC damage out there. I'm hoping for another storm, to be honest with you. I mean, another storm would be great. Get me a couple of flying units. Get me a couple of... Uh, whoops. Oh, that was the big boom. Oh, my gosh, it's so laggy. It's so laggy. I was not expecting it to be that laggy. Um, That's a boom. Uh, please, please, Gamu. There we go. And now we can actually land things over here again. So by causing that big boom, we can now land things over here. And I'm guessing they're building them? Or do those just sort of spawn? Because they were not all there earlier. I don't know how the map is doing that. So very intriguing. Very intriguing. Uh, might have been established earlier. I did not fully read everything. And I do apologize for that. Uh, I am amazed that corner is holding on, though. That corner is doing great. And another big explosion. Woof. <laughs> it's crazy going on. Uh, ooh, 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 chunk, chunk, chunk. That is that is the sound that we are getting. Just chunks. Um, and very cool. This the shields <clears throat> you can see actually pull creep over the edge, which I really like. I think that's such a cool thing because it's pulling the creep. It actually pulls it over the edge and allows it to sort of make that wave across so that's from the shield that's super duper cool again another very there's a lot of neat features in this um pretty much if i i what i want right now is to control the shields more than anything else uh i don't know if i need to be connected to the main base or not I don't think it, right because i was gonna move this over here just to see if this does anything uh I don't know. It might. I need to move my mortars, though. Oh, do they have an M left over here? They do. It's right there. Huh. Good on them. Yeah, see, the mortars can kind of shoot through. Yeah, it is land. I, I, okay. It just looks like it breaks on the shield, but it does actually land. Whew. I was afraid for a second. So, good on you, mortars. You're going to destroy this area pretty nicely. Uh... Our creep is just flowing in real good now. Uh, again, probably should make some more of these. Don't really, like, they don't seem to be doing that much given the situation, especially because we can't, like, land right on the edge. They have such limited range. Like, the, ooh, they turned off the plane because they're running low on energy. Very smart AI. Very smart AI. I like that. Uh, that it's like, hey, I'm going into a deficit, this has to turn off, right? Planes are usually the thing that causes the deficit to last and sort of be the game killer in that respect. Um, but they're definitely like, hey, you know, these these things are not, they're, they're not exactly friends. So, well, we'll move our, move everything in. We're sort of in the, the wrap up here. Uh, what did we end up with? So we have, oh, even Crimson Crystals spawn. I didn't even realize we had the Crimson Crystals. So Crimson Crystals can eventually spawn. D I mean, I'm, I mean, it just says they get unlocked over time. Um, we have five Berthas. Uh, I don't remember a stash being here. I remember them being kind of over here, but maybe, no, no. We didn't, we didn't make stashes, I don't think. I think those stashes just kind of happened. So, or we're on the map already. Uh, all of my, all of my good boys are, are gone yet again. Come back. Come back. The corner is ours. Everything is ours. All of the creep is going down. We can build stuff nigh instantly. Uh, and again, the problem is, look at the groundscape. We can't land anywhere because it's all being, you know, torn asunder. So that's another, you know, problem for us. I mean, we're dealing with it. We're, we're going to be fine. It's just very weird that... Uh, it's so craggy that, you know, we can't really use our units as we want. Like, all of these right there can't fire on anything, right? We, we need them. You know what? Let's just, let's just land them in. I probably should have just landed them in here earlier and just tried to do, see what they would do. Uh, boom. Big bada boom. I'm assuming that was the, uh, <laughs> the landmines. Uh, one last set of lag for us, I guess. You know, you got, you got to have enough lag on a map. 
Uh, and, it, and again, it doesn't do any damage to uh, to them. Just does it to us. Um, but that's okay. I guess it did it to us. I mean, we did lose like all of our mortars, right? Uh, so I, I didn't actually think it even really did damage to us, but I guess it does. Uh, now I think we have so much going for us. Maybe our uh, units will die. Oh, there's the last set of landmines. There it goes. Did that take out like all of our cannons? Yeah, it did. Yeah, it did. Goodbye, cannons. You did, you did good work, though. You did good work. Um, very, very cool. Very, very fun. You gotta love it. And just keep them, just keep them moving in. Keep the mortars moving in. We're destroying, we're destroying things. Just we have the problem now is these are all totems, and of course totems can't be destroyed by uh, creep. So we just have to flow through. Now we do have, we do have a lot of flow. Uh, we do have a lot of creep. So I think we'll be fine. But there we have it. Objectivo obtained. Uh, I'm just gonna let, I'm just gonna destroy the last few things, right? And boom, 12 things. We need them. Boom, they're done. Built. There we have it. Oh, come on. There we go. Last two. And Bazinga. There we go. This has been El Pass fighting with the storm. And there we go. Uh, totem time. Standard for everybody. And we did in what? Uh, 3022? Uh, apparently, I really don't know how you would do this that much faster. I mean, I feel like we actually did pretty good, but I guess pausing and moving all of your units and using them properly instead of just sort of mass throwing them at is probably more effective. It's just without the ability to highlight and select or create squads, it's difficult uh, to do in a timely manner, right? I mean, I, I, by the time I move every cannon where I want it to be, every cannon will be out of position. Uh, without pausing, you know, without pausing and meticulously moving. So I was trying to do this in a, in a relatively quick way, but I hope you enjoyed. This is super cool, super neat. Uh, honestly, just with click and drag, <clears throat> pretty much the only thing I would want. I'd like more control over some of the other units, like controlling where the berthas can fire and things. Not the end of the world, but yeah, super neat. I, I, it's awesome. It's awesome. Um, so I hope you enjoyed. Uh, please leave a like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. Catch you next time. Take care.